I had a, uh, a few seconds early today. I think the um, the uh, sound uh, is out of sync with this little device here. But anyway, um, I'm going to just do a really short show today because um, I had a very, very late night last night. I uh, saw Men in Black 3, which was just, just like Men in Black, really. None of the effects are surprising anymore. Very good. Storylines, okay. A few Will Smithisms that made me giggle. Um, Tommy Jones. It was Tommy Lee Jones looking dour, sourpuss sort of face. Um, anyway, so today's about CDs. Just suddenly thought something I can just knock together quickly. I think the battery's quite flat on this thing as well, so I'm just going to do that thing that I've, I can do now. Here we go. Click smile, smile. Oh, it didn't happen. Here we go. Ding. Okay. So this is uh, switched to the front camera, and. It's some of my CDs, which I was going to um, rip onto iTunes or what have you and get rid of. And then it became apparent that uh, the quality, even at the top levels of uh, iTunes, isn't very good. Which made me realise how sad it is that people can't actually own CDs anymore. Now that was one I wanted to get ready before the show. I'll tell you why in a second. Um, and also it's a physical thing you can look at. Sometimes you get this amazing album art and uh, sometimes you get little hidden things as well like the days when you could hide a track because it would be like track 12 and it would be um, after say 10 minutes of silence you'd get the track there's no such thing as that on iTunes you can see how long tracks are and all that so there's no surprises I can't see if I can see the other one <sighs> they're not in any order at the moment they were put in order I think once in my life now that's the artist I want upside down but can I find the CD okay so I guess the most CDs of any one artist I've got is Prince and uh, I, I've persisted you know but these last few albums have been free with newspapers anyway so that that was nice and, and I wouldn't have paid for them that's for sure wouldn't have paid more than Price of the newspaper. I think I mentioned before Prince is incredibly talented um, and he's very, very good at playing his old tunes, which which still sound good. I don't know if I can find it. It'd be really nice if I could find it. Ah, there it is. Okay. So walk through to the room that I haven't done any more decorating in this yet. I've really been quite lazy. So, um, uh, is that going to work? No, actually I'm going to just sit in the right back. Slip on my back to the window. There we are, all lights up nicely. There's a chair that belonged to Howard Jones. If you don't believe me, show him this clip and ask him. Okay. Shorts, I intend to go out later on today. Okay, now this CD, Paul Simon Graceland, is great. As is this. Now I can't claim to having bought my first CD. I can't tell you what my first CD is, because I got these two at the same time. And um, you can see it's a bit tatty. This is, you know, years to come, people look back at this and go, wow. He's showing us album artwork. No one, no one kept CDs, but I'm going to keep a record, you see, of this. So you've got pictures of all her album covers. Some of her lovely shots of her, as she, as she was when this album was made. Even covers from the singles themselves. So it's a best of album. Fantastic, cloud busting. I remember seeing that. I think it might have been during Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. They just showed a whole pop promo before it, which was shot on film. It looked great. So CDs, the first generation of CDs, they actually made incredibly well. And um, the reason being that they really did want uh, to make a statement that they were really resilient. You can see there's a few scratches on that one. And... Um, later on, they sort of cheapened the process... Um, so I think they had a, a, a yeah you can see the 
the um, there's a ridge of plastic underneath where the data's data recorded uh, over top over the top of the data, which means that if even if you scratch it, you can always polish the layer out and it's fine. But some of the new ones actually have that on the very bottom, and they get scratched really easily. Uh, and and uh, and I think you know if you were to copy burn these onto a cheap CDRs, they don't last very long. Now I've listened to this very recently because he got a lot of um, African people involved. Yeah, here we are. Look, he's even got a story. You see, he's got a story of how he fell in love with um, black African music. And uh, I mean, would you bother to even? You know, actually, to be honest, I don't bother to read all this stuff in a, in, in the uh, in the sleeves. Although I do sometimes sing along to the lyrics, which is something you can do can't do with your iTunes, is it? I mean, you could go to one of these lyric sites and print them all out, but you've grabbed the CD, you put the CD in the CD player, you're getting pretty much really good quality. People will say, oh no, vinyl's much better. Well, it's not if you've got a single a single little mark on your record, you're going to start getting clicks and things. So, <coughs> I do still like my vinyl, but it's more because of the ritualistic aspect of it rather than the quality. And then, of course, the cover art there is good. So, yeah. So there we are, my first two ever CDs. Still got them, they still work. Um, cassettes, I've still got all my, all my cassettes and I've been going through some of those and some of them actually don't work anymore. And I think they're ones that maybe they got wound too tightly or they were up in the loft, went a bit mouldy. Now the latest CD I've got, I won't be able to find, but it's by a band called Boards of Canada. And... Um, because because it's out of sync, I'm not going to um, I'm not going to show my mouth. It'll be less disturbing. Uh, I might make some expressions that have nothing to do with anything. I don't know if you can tell what people are saying because of the expressions. Mind you, you can see this, can't you? The the come looking in there. Now there was quite a few uh, problems with Men in Black last night, um, which I'm a bit upset about. And I might actually send an email to Odie. And I always say I might send an, send an email about things. But actually, this time I'm going to try. Because not only was the sound during the film very slightly out of sync by a couple of frames, um, the house lights are up slightly, you know, because of health and safety, yeah, it's always a shame. But the worst thing was, the trailers and adverts, the sound was rocking, it was pumping, it was great. But then for the feature, they turned the sound down, so you, you were ready for this amazing audio experience, even if the visual experience might have been slightly less um, sort of interesting. And uh, and yeah, there we go. It was turned down, as if your parents had come in when you were listening to your your new album you just bought, like you know, first album on CD. Turn it down, so you'd already heard the first track. You were you were in the mood, knew what you were up for. The bass was rocking. Turn it down. What a load of crap. So, um, I think that's it for today. I did. Uh, did have a very interesting time. Still, you can still see my eyes. I've still got to look. Maybe I can go like that. Doesn't it? See, it doesn't matter if it's out of sync if I wear this mask. So, all I can say about Men in Black is probably don't go and see it um, at the Odeon in Maidstone because it looks like they've got sync problems. I do recommend to go and see every film possible in IMAX now. You might as well. Either that or just download them illegally because. Well, I've yet, actually, no, I think possibly I need to do a few more cinemas up in town again. The Empire is, is an amazing experience if you ever get a chance to see a film there. And, uh, and yeah, so, um, good night. And uh, I might be trying to put together a few specials. The people I was out with last night, quite interested in getting together for a special or two. Now... It, oh, just going to do this again. This is confusing. Okay, so there's a the vinyl in the kitchen. I can't play any of it. Um, I'm guessing 